Hello again, this is Tara from the Thirsty Thrifters. Gonna give you another weekly what sold on Poshmark. In case you don't know, I am a part-time reseller, almost entirely on Poshmark. My closet name is Tara Stutes, all one word. I do sell a little bit on eBay and Mercari, although I don't do what sold videos on them because there's so few sales. But we're gonna go over the week of May 27th to June 2nd. I had 18 items that sold that week. A couple were bundles, at least a couple, one large bundle. I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for the item, how long it was listed for sale, and if I would purchase it again. So let's get started. I will switch to the screen. Okay, the first item I have is a vintage swimsuit. This was purchased at the outlet and it was listed in December when I listed all my swimwear. It was a Hawaiian floral print, but I really liked the sailboats. That's what made me for sure buy it. The back had a cute little strap and a cutout. It was definitely vintage, not retro. It was vintage and it sold for $24. I would buy that again, definitely. I really like vintage bathing suits. So here is the bundle that I sold. I took less than I really wanted to for this bundle. I believe the bundle before fee or before before fees before any discounts would have been about $140 and she offered me something very low first and we settled on $86. And then she opened a case on it which was resolved in my favor. So I do have all my money from this. But let's go over the items and talk about them individually. First is a knitted and knotted anthropology sweater. This was on my one of my first trips back to the thrift stores when they reopened. It was like this lace crochet sweater and I could not find the name of it, but I did find a stock photo of it, size medium. I paid $4 for that one. I would buy that again, yes. It was listed in May, so under a month. Here's the item that she um, was upset about. This was purchased at the bins and listed in March because I had run out of regular items, so I was listing all my winter items. So this is a mohair sweater. I don't know why I said sweater like that. Purple mohair sweater from Banana Republic. It had a little, um, you can see like stair step ladder kind of design on the back. It was very fuzzy. And I even called it cropped because it was small and short and I included the measurements and she said it was old and worn and not the correct size. But it was a medium, as you can see there. So they did resolve that in my favor. That was the only item she was upset with and was asking for $10, but they denied the case. The third item was something I bought for myself at TJ Maxx, a sport, not sports bra, <laughs> a bralette and it had little tassels on it. It was brand new with tags. I never ended up wearing it. There's the tags. Oh, Marshalls. Maybe it was Marshalls that I bought it. Not something I normally buy to resell. I was just listing things for my own closet when I couldn't go thrifting. This is a Madewell Broadway and Broom, which I spelled broom wrong. It has an E on the end. So the tag, if you find this brand, says just Broadway and Broom on it, but it is a sub-brand of Madewell. I don't know if they still even make it, um, but this was a silk pleated dress. Oh, that's a bad picture. It's blurry. <laughs> silk pleated dress with a tie in the front, but it was a size two. I did offer this to my daughter to wear and she didn't want it. So really cute style and really nice fabric content. The next item she purchased, I would buy that again, by the way, and I paid um, very little for it. Cause it was from the bins in Dayton, Ohio. The last things were some things my mom gave me to sell. So she gave me these True Self tops. I do not know this brand. It's probably just something like from TJ Maxx. Um, I can't. I don't even have a close up of the tag. That's that's the tag. Uh, but they had like these this flyaway laced up back with a contrast print underneath. They were the same size and the same style, so I bundled them together. 
I would probably not buy those for resale. And then the last item was a POL sweater. POL is kind of a, it has a bit of a following by people. So this was an actual really cute style with these huge sleeves. It was very chunky, very oversized. It's just that I listed it in the middle of the summer, or not the middle of the summer, like right when we were starting spring. So I figured I might have to wait a while to sell it. Um, but I had it listed for $40. I would probably buy that myself uh, to resell, but my mom had actually purchased it to wear. So those are all the items, $86, like I said, and very happy that I that case resolved in my favor. This is another item my mom gave me to sell. Love Culture Peach Orange Pleated Maxi Skirt. And that's... That's what it is. <laughs> I would not buy this brand to sell. I see it quite often in the thrift stores. I had it listed for 15 and they accepted my offer of like 10 or 20% off. I'm not sure. Uh, but just a polyester maxi skirt. The style was cute. Just wasn't much to purchase it brand new. So I knew I it wouldn't resell for too much. Next is, I don't know how to say this. Lissy or Liss, if you know, you can tell me. I do not know. I know it. this brand has somewhat of a following, but it took me forever to sell these leggings. I think I bought them at my Goodwill on Dollar Tag Day, I think. They were cute. They had rose print. They had zippers at the ankles. They were high-waisted. And I thought I'd heard several people mention this brand as selling well for them, but these took a little while to sell. But they still sold for $20. That's not bad. With an offer to like or discount. They took five months. The next, this was a very good sale. Athleta Black Polar Tech Power Stretch Pants Fleece. So these were fleece line lounge pants. They were in excellent condition. I paid full price of $4 for them. I had purchased a ton of Athleta at this one store one day for four dollars each and these were the ones i was most iffy about because they were the oldest style and they were wide leg which are not always the most popular but they sold almost immediately for 25 dollars. so i will say yet again i do like selling athleta pants athleta pants and leggings sell very well not so much the tank tops but the pants and leggings smart wool I, these took a while to sell, which surprised me. Well, I guess they wouldn't surprise me because I listed these in March and they're wool tights. So not really the season for that. But I had them listed everywhere, like eBay, Mercari, and here. I kept getting low $10 offers. And finally, I got a $14 offer, or maybe it was an offer to Liker, which is a little bit better. And so I accepted. I'm glad those have found a new home. I was beginning to think I shouldn't have bought Smart wool uh, tights. Smart wool other things sell much faster. Okay. Uh, bundle. So the first item was my t-shirt. I listed this in April. And I probably have worn this in a video. But I was listing things in my um, personal wardrobe that just weren't my favorite. So this one said last night was intense camping shirt. Got that at Goodwill for myself. Wore it a few times. And then the other item was this windbreaker that I had had listed since February. I thought it would sell much faster, but it took three months, three and a half months. It was a lightweight purple windbreaker. I think it was vintage. No, no way to know for sure, though. So those two items, I would, I would buy both of those again, uh, cheap enough, and they sold for $30 total. We have, oh my gauze, turquoise blue sleeveless dress. I have heard other people mention this brand, which is why I purchased it. And I'm trying to remember where I purchased it. I think I paid $3.50 at like a half off day at Goodwill, or maybe it was the color of the week, so it was half off, I think. So sold it for $22, and it didn't take too long. I just don't think it was quite as popular as I thought it was going to be. It took 
It took three and a half months. So not too bad, but not the greatest. Roxy, this, <laughs> this is another surprise. Roxy, turquoise, blue. Oh, it's full sip. Now it's supposed to be full zip hoodie sweatshirt. This was my own sweatshirt again. I think I've sold now two of my Roxy sweatshirts. Either I've sold two or I sold one and the other one's still listed. I don't remember. But Roxy sweatshirts do have a following. I mean, obviously, I like them. I keep buying them. I've owned three or four in the last couple years. And it sold for $16. Wasn't listed for very long. Wasn't even in that great shape. I showed pictures of it was a little worn. Yeah, listed in, in May, so not very long at all. Ruth Bader Ginsburg graphic tee. And this sold in, uh, this was listed in March and just sold right when people started protesting. So I'm hoping somebody wore this to a protest. That'd be cool. They bought my shirt and wore it to a protest. <laughs> I don't know. But it sold for $12. It was from the bins. I didn't pay much for it, so I made a little bit of a profit. I would probably buy it again. I really like picking up graphic t-shirts from the bins. And I know I just said picking up, and I hate saying picking up, but it's... It's stuck for, for good now. I'm going to keep saying it. Arcteryx, blue quarter zip pullover stretch top. Where did I find I th think I found this at My Town's Goodwill, and I was amazed to find it. It was in actually really good condition, and it sold really, really fast. I think in a day or maybe an hour it was sold, and I think I had it listed for 40 and took a $30, $30 offer. So, Look for that symbol. If you see that symbol, that is Arcteryx. I think I'm saying that right. They make outdoorsy type stuff. It's like Smart Wool and one of those kind of brands, Arcteryx. And the last one of this week was this Athleta Keyhole Maxi Dress. Now I'm trying to remember where I purchased it. I know I just listed it that day and it sold maybe a week. It sold fast. I think I purchased this at my first time back to a Goodwill. And I think I paid the full $7. Dresses are $7 normally at my Goodwill. So I think I paid $7 for it, believing it would sell pretty well. And it did. Athleta dresses also seem to do well for me. There's another one to add. So yes, I would buy that again. So let's go back to... The regular screen I mentioned this in my last video but I was not working extremely hard at reselling this week I was doing more of my full-time job I was busy there so I did not list very many items I did not share as much as I had been when I didn't have work to do when reselling was like the only option so that's why I only made I only sold 18 items and you'll see coming up the next week is even worse but it's okay, it's evening out. I don't have to be selling right now. Um, I don't have to be making that money to pay to pay bills. We're doing fine. So that is the end of the What's Sold. Stay tuned for another week coming up. Thanks for watching, all that stuff. I'll see you next time.